tough to pick a favorite memory with Paul. There's parking cars at Deer Creek Country Club, counting that money, talking about the future, and occasionally sweating out a $50 football bet with that club member who was also the club bookie. There's the many, many bars, the trips to the Keys, to Las Vegas. Being roommates with you for that year or so was awesome. And there's the weddings, yours, mine, Tim's, Trent's. Happy birthday, Paul, or more specifically, happy 50th. It's hard to believe that uh, we've been friends since the fourth grade. Who would have thought? Um, I do have a few memories that I'd like to share. One is our, our trip out to Houston for the soccer tournament. This, I think it was the Southeast Regional, where the families decided to get together and go to the Texas Tumbleweed. Um, I remember being in the back of the limo, uh, sitting there shooting the shit with the guys and everybody's parents that were in the back seat. Um, and I think we did a little dancing out there, um, probably with the parents, or at least the moms, um, once we got there. Uh, another memory I have was um, shortly thereafter my uh, my knee surgery where I was uh, on crutches, I think, for like six to eight weeks and had my knee immobilized. You guys thought it was a good idea that we go on a uh, midnight cruise. So I definitely appreciate that because there's nothing more fun than uh, walking around a cruise ship, or I should say hobbling around a cruise ship <laughs> while you're on crutches. So... I thank you for getting me out of the house on that one. So that was quite the experience. And then one of my other experiences was uh, when we invited us all the way out to California, staying at your place in San Diego. And then uh, we decided it was a good idea that we decided that, uh, I don't know, seven or eight guys in their 20s go to uh, Tijuana in one vehicle. And, uh, I think it was your dad's or something like Expedition. I think that uh, had trouble written all over it. Uh, remember uh, on that trip that uh, we kind of blew through about two or three checkpoints, military checkpoints that was. So I felt pretty happy just to get out of Mexico alive. So uh, thanks for uh, the memories. Um, I, you know, like I said, it's hard to believe that uh, we've been friends for this long. Uh, playing in the pool with him at my And what? A plane with Daddy. My favorite memory with Daddy is either when he took me to Disney or when he practiced soccer with me. Many wonderful memories we've created together. There's no way I can pick one. I love all of our memories from when we first started dating to getting engaged in our favorite spot to getting married having a baby with you, making a family, and creating a home. My memories make me so happy, and I'm so blessed to be sharing this life with you. My favorite memory of Paul, there's too many to mention, but I'll talk about my first memory. I was a little redneck kid. I just moved to Florida, and I'm sitting on my porch with a BB gun looking for somebody, something to shoot, and I heard a commotion behind Paul's house, and next thing you know, Paul ran through the gate and was running down the street, and Chuck came out of the gate behind him carrying a shovel that he was trying to hit him with, and he asked me for my gun, so I gave him my gun to shoot Paul. <laughs> That's my first memory of Paul and Chuck. Memories of Paul. Um, there's way <laughs> too many to even pick one from childhood to now we have so many Awesome, amazing, and wonderful memories with you, Paul. special moments with Paul's but sometimes they he just comes through and has such heart that he gives us me my favorite memory of Paul of course I have zillions of memories of Paul all good but one particular day Paul came home and he had this medal 
and he laid it on the table. And uh, I said, Paul, what is that? And he said, I don't know, they give me that at school. And I looked at the medal and it, uh, it has uh, honor, uh, leadership, patriotism, uh, scholarship, service. Um, and so uh, yeah, it was a really pretty medal. And um, it says school award, God and country on it. But anyway, I just let it go. And the next day, going to work. Now we lived in Coral Springs and I worked in Coral Springs. And I got on the elevator in my office and just before the door closed, somebody yelled, hey, congratulations. And I wasn't even sure they were talking to me, but when I got to my office, a couple of ladies that, uh, uh, you know, smiled at me, and one in particular said, you have to be so proud of Paul. And I said, yeah, of course I'm proud of Paul. And she says, no, you have to be proud of uh, um, his, his achievement. And I said, what achievement? And she said, well, yesterday they awarded him the student uh, of the year. And uh, I said, oh, well, wow. I had no idea. Well, Paul is so humble that uh, he just laid it on the table and said they gave me that at school. So. I've been told to give you a birthday message and talk about some of our favorite times together. There's too many to count. So hopefully these photos will let us all remember some of the great times we had together. Natalie asked if, if I would come up with, you know, my best memories of, of you and our relationship. And while there are many, there's one that comes up. And before I try to figure it out and try to talk to you about it, I wanted to just show you. Boom. Happy. Okay, so John, I remember the time you and I first met. <laughs> hey, you're not listening to this. Get away. I'm going to get heart to heart over here. Seriously. I'm not going to talk about when I thought you were gay. I'm not going to mention that on the camera. Long time ago. Yeah, one time I did think John was gay, but it pulled through. One of the guys, you know. And then he finally got married. Yeah, I remember the time he came up to me and Tim on the football field. Remember that? Grabbed my dick. I mean, like, oh totally my grabbed God. it. God. I thought, oh my first God. First time I met him. We hey, speaking of dicks, have you seen John's Jesus Christ? <laughs> <laughs> hey, anyway, Thank I can't God. believe you just said Bell that. Time. We love you. Hey, we love you. Love you, but I was telling a story. Okay, go on with your story. And that's how it started. You met us on the field. And you invited us to that party. We went and ever since then, dude. We've been the best of friends. And uh, man, it's been a great ride the whole time, dude. Uh, I wish we got to see a lot more. Even though you live in Arizona, good thing you came back to get married. Tim's massaging my we neck right you. now, by the way. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> anyway, hey, best of luck, dude. You got an awesome girl. Yeah, she's right sure. on. Hey, and Tiffany, to you, you touched my wife's heart with that necklace. You really did. So remember that. But anyway, here's your mom. Hey, mom. But anyway. Congratulations. So, so congratulations and best of luck. And more about me. Uh, I remember I first wanted to start a career in acting and modeling. And, you know, it just never panned out. You know what I mean? I don't know why. <laughs> but anyway, best of luck. God bless. <laughs> Paul, you are simply the best, the most loyal, great friend anyone can have. What do I love and appreciate about Paul? Uh, a few things come to mind. Uh, I love his positive outlook on things. He's definitely uh, a glass half full, uh, and that is definitely greatly appreciated, especially into uh, today's world. Uh, 
I enjoy and love his uh, personality, his sarcasm. Um, definitely brings a smile to my face and uh, makes me laugh, so I can never get too much of that. And then, um, you know, you don't be, you're not friends since the fourth grade without um, him being accepting uh, for who you, his acceptance for who you are. Uh, that definitely is, uh, and uh, I greatly appreciate it for that. So, thanks, Paul. Dad. He's my daddy. <laughs> I love most about him because he's my daddy. His humor. It's really funny. My favorite thing about you is definitely your energy. It's the first thing I noticed when I met you. I said, wow, it just feels good to be around you. And that's still true to this day. You lift people up, you light up the room, and you're also such a comfort when anyone's ever down. I also love your heart. You have the biggest heart in the world. You have come home telling me stories that you pulled over and helped pull, pull some random guy out of the mud in a rainy day or an old lady with her car broken down, you ask to give her a ride home. You're always trying to help people, you're always trying to save somebody, and you are just the best. The thing I like, appreciate most about Paul, no matter where I'm at in the world, with the military, it's we're still just the best friends, no matter where we're at. Is that when he's around, you know that it's gonna be a good time, and he is always the life of the party, but he also is really motivating and positive and he's everyone's hype man. He gets you or make, helps you believe that you could do it. Uh, he birthed Mackenzie. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Say it again. He's funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's fun and funny. I love Paul so, so much. You have no idea. You've always been wonderful since you were born. You're special and my feelings always and you help me so much and uh, with everything and you're smart and you can be a little tough which is a good thing. I love Paul to death. He's wonderful, handsome. He does so... Is he your favorite? No. He's... <laughs> Well, I could because they're all here and that's not fair. They made okay. me. What I love and appreciate about Paul the most is his positive attitude. When things seem negative or bleak, he has a way of making them seem positive and making you feel positive about them. He's so big. <laughs> I love Paul's humility and uh, such a great kid. Love him. Love you. All right, Paul. We, the Silties from uh, the frozen tundra of Wisconsin, would love to wish you a happy 50th birthday. Um, could not think of a better occasion to get the group back together again. And we'd like to thank your lovely wife, Natalie, for making it all happen. Uh, we look forward to seeing everyone and hanging out. And, uh, and enjoying ourselves. So. Happy birthday, dear daddy. I love you, I love you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm five. Bye bye. Happy birthday, dad, I love you so much. Happy birthday, we love you so much. I hope you can see how special you are, not just to us, but to so many people. Cheers to 50 more years. Happy birthday, you old bastard. Uh, put this in perspective, you're older now than our parents were when we were in high school. So, happy birthday, man. I'll see you soon. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Paul. Happy birthday to you. Happy 50th. Hope it's a great one. Again, happy birthday. Hope you have a great day. Stay healthy. And to many more, 
great times together. Peace. Happy birthday, my great brother. Day. Stay healthy and to many more great times together. Peace. Wanted to uh, wish you a very happy 50th birthday. I cannot believe we've been friends for so long. We've stayed connected. And uh, I am so fucking grateful. Happy birthday, Paul.